Hi, this is Rob with Longevity Learning Lab, and I've got a project I'm going to be working on here, and uh, it's some thick material, and uh, so I wanted to use one of our plasma cutters, and so so it's so thick because I got some one-inch material, got some one and a quarter-inch material. Instead of using our Force Cut 40D, I'm going to use our our Force Cut 62i, and uh, it's different. Obviously, it's a bigger machine. It only runs on a 220, and so I'll go ahead and show you how to hook it up, and we'll cut this material. And I'll be right back. Okay, here's our Force Cut 62i, and uh, like I said, it only runs on a 220. It doesn't run on the 110, so it doesn't have the inverter. But that's because we need more power too, anyway. So yeah, because there's this inch thick material right here. And here's an inch and a half thick right here. And uh, I'm trying to see whether or not we don't have to preheat it. And uh, so it's real, real basic. Here, let me turn this around. And you got your, your air fitting here in the back, your regulator and all that. It's got a moisture collector for your airline. And then um, it's got the, what I do is put the, the quick release air fitting on it and uh, that way you don't have to keep screwing it on, screwing it on, you get a dedicated line. And uh, you can do that if you want, but I just rather have this on. So, and then you got your switch in the back here. Now in the front, you've got all your indicators here and uh, the power cord and all that for your gun is right here. And the gun's nice, I like it, it's, it's, it's fairly lightweight. Got your little plug here. Everything will go right into that, that plug there. You got your little safety trigger on here. And I'll get back to that in a second. And then you've got a plug here. This is for a CNC connection. So you can hook it up to a CNC machine and then it can automatically uh, do the adjustments as it needs to do. And then of course you got your ground line here. So this will just plug right on in. Find a little slot for it. There we go. Just like that. And then I'll go ahead and I'll plug it in and we'll see how this runs. There we go. You plug it in. Okay, now I've got it plugged into my 220. And so this is where your airline's gonna go here in the back and we got our off, on and off switch. And uh, so I'm gonna use just the regular airline with the quick release and uh, put it right on through there. That way it's just easier for me. I always have this hanging around the shop. And it just takes a three quarter inch and 11 sixteenths wrenches. Just tighten that up. And you're good to go with your airline. And it go in right like that. Then you got your, your regulator here to show you your PSI and then it'll also, it'll tell you the indicate, like the, it's got actually a barometer in there, it says. And so then we're good here. And we'll got that powered up. It's a nice quiet unit. Turn this around for us. And we've got the little protective cover here. Now, when you set it up, it's got all the indicator lights. You got your temperature reading here. That's for your, your amperage. And then your, uh, your tip in your air here, that'll, that'll indicate if you've got, in, you've got enough air pressure. And then also it's a safety thing with your, our little gun right here too. Like say for instance, you want to start cutting and you got to stop. Well, you got to take your finger off the trigger and let it reset. And then you can put, you start up again. It's called a you know, pilot. And this will, that's what that indicator light is for there. Now you've got your run and your set button. Okay, now your set button is when you want to test your airflow. Okay, then when you get ready to go ahead and cut, then you flip it onto R to run. And then you're good to go. And then here's for your ground cable, which I still got to put in down below. And so, uh, yeah, let's see if this thing's going to run for me. And let me get my gloves and uh, get my long sleeve shirt. Okay, now here's our control panel, and I'm going to be running the one inch material first. So I'm still going to go over 50, about right about there at 50. And then I got my power on. My temperature light will come on when I start cutting. And the same with the pilot light and all that. And I'm going to set it on run. But if I just want to test the air, and you'll hear it probably, you hear that air. So I know I've got my airflow, 
If I wasn't getting the airflow, that light would come on. So now I put it back up on run. I got my ground hooked up. And so let's go ahead and uh, go to the material. Okay, let's see how this cuts. Not too bad, a little close to the edge. It'll knock off. They're going a little too fast. But see how thin it slices it. And it comes off. That's just more than more me than the machine. There you go, that's that's an inch thick material. Let's go try the quarter of one and a quarter now. Okay, let's try this with the one and a quarter. Now this being thicker. I'm going to go in a little bit more, but I got to go slower because the other one I was just going too fast, but the machine works good. Well, it cuts through it, and it, 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 it doesn't get that hot, and the machine kept going, so uh, that's pretty good. It stayed pretty good. Anyway, there's your inch and a quarter. Well, there you go. There's your, your longevity 60, uh, force cut fit 62i, and uh, I like it. It's nice. It can handle the thickness. I just go a little slower. Uh, make sure your machines are, are running off the same breaker, and uh, it really straightforward. I like it. It's uh, the gun is really nice. Comes with another little wrench. The setup is really easy. And so now I'm going to go ahead and cut the rest of my parts for my next video. And uh, I'm Rob, and thanks for joining me on Longevity Learning Lab. We'll see you next time.